The tragic implosion of Ocean Gate's Titan submersible shocked the world, sending ripples of sorrow and disbelief across the globe. But the story gets even darker, revealing a series of overlooked warnings and ignored safety protocols. This wasn't just an accident, it was preventable, a catastrophe that could have been averted with proper caution and adherence to safety standards. Ocean Gate was known for pushing boundaries, always striving to break new ground in underwater exploration, offering civilians a once-in-a-lifetime chance to explore the Titanic wreck, a dream for many adventure seekers. But behind the scenes there were alarming red flags, signals that something was amiss in their ambitious endeavors. Today, I'm diving into why this tragedy was worse than you thought, uncovering the layers of negligence and hubris that led to this disaster. When the Titan submersible imploded in June 2023, five lives were lost, leaving families and friends in mourning. What many didn't realize was that Ocean Gate had been cutting corners for years, prioritizing speed and innovation over safety. Experts had raised concerns about the safety of the sub's design, warning that it was not fit for the extreme pressures of the deep sea. The use of carbon fiber for deep sea dives, something many industry veterans said was a major risk, was a decision Ocean Gate defended despite warnings believing it would revolutionize underwater exploration. The company also bypassed traditional industry standards and inspections, a move that many saw as reckless and dangerous. They weren't following recognized certification processes for deep-sea vessels, ignoring the protocols that had been established to ensure safety, believing their innovative approach was safe enough, a belief that would prove to be fatally flawed. But this gamble led to tragic consequences, consequences that could have been avoided with a more cautious approach. OceanGate's CEO, Stockton Rush, even went on record saying that regulations and safety standards were stifling innovation, a statement that now seems tragically ironic. He believed the industry was overly cautious and that cutting-edge technology could outperform traditional materials, a belief that would ultimately cost lives. This reckless pursuit of innovation would eventually come at the cost of human lives, a price too high for any technological advancement. Even worse, the passengers who boarded the doomed expedition weren't fully aware of the risks they were taking, trusting the company's assurances of safety. The company's marketing portrayed Titan as a groundbreaking sub, a marvel of modern engineering. But behind the scenes, engineers were warning of possible failure, their concerns falling on deaf ears. The implosion itself occurred at depths where the pressure is 400 times greater than at sea level, an environment where even the smallest flaw can be catastrophic. Once the submersible's hull failed, there was no time for the crew to react, the immense pressure crushing the vessel instantly. This tragedy, however, could have been avoided if OceanGate had heeded industry warnings, if they had listened to the voices of caution. In the end, OceanGate's ambition to push the limits of technology without respecting the dangers of the deep sea cost lives, a sobering reminder of the perils of hubris. The company wanted to rewrite the rules, but in doing so, they put profit over safety, a decision that led to irreversible loss. What do you think? Was this a preventable disaster or a risk worth taking? The debate continues, but the lessons are clear. Let me know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most shocking events. Your insights and opinions matter.